right, so, so here's a tip for using and finding property management companies in the very beginning. If you are just starting out, you may do something similar to what I did. You're buying smaller properties. So you're not going with these 150, 200 unit properties that can afford full-time staff. So I'm about to give you a tip, a huge tip, and to help you find in and operate with property management companies that are on a smaller scale. Because if you go out to a large property management company, say you bought a 10 unit in a great area, and you go look at a property management company that has got great reviews, but everything in their portfolio is 300 unit properties, 200 unit properties, and you come up with your 10 unit, they're not going to operate with you. And honestly, you're not going to be able to afford them because they're going to have overhead and a professional staff. And, and you're just not, it doesn't work. The model doesn't fit. So, you're going to need to come up with a different model. And so that's what I want to discuss here as, you, as you're starting out. So what you want to do is be able to find a property management company that is close to you in proximity. And you also want to be able to find a property management company that is not that large. So look for property management companies that are managing a neighboring 20 unit, a neighboring 10 unit, a neighboring 50 unit, 60 unit property, because those, those property management companies are operating like that, but they have the ability to work with a smaller company. So what, what you really want to do is have you as a smaller owner be able to, to pair up with another smaller owner and all of a sudden, because you've got 10 units and they may have, say, 60 units, now between the both of you, you can afford full-time staff. So what what I would do is go look at neighboring properties and, and see who's the management company of that 20 unit across the street. Who's managing that 50 unit, you know, a few blocks away. Call that company, to ask who the manager is, and then... Uh, try to form a connection with them and ask them if they're willing to take on your project that they could pair up with it. A lot of times that's savings for you as an owner and it's saving for the existing owner that's already there. Don't just take anybody though, right? I would I would also uh, maybe window shop that apartment. And so what I mean by window shop is, is go in, see how the grounds are ran. Do you want your property to operate the same way? And if you like the way that company is, is running that property, then you move on to try to reach out to the property management company and see if they will go ahead and pair up with you and your new acquisition. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, let me know. Drop a like, give a thumbs up. I want to keep these videos coming out to you. So take care. Make it a great day on purpose because you deserve it. Later.